I can lose, but I can only lose if I really put everything in that game. And I cannot be happy one hour after the game if I lose the game. You understand? Can no, I, cannot, I cannot sleep when I lose a game. That day I cannot sleep, for example. I sleep very bad. And we here sometimes, we take, okay, coach, my Pelai. Next week we play again. I say, I know we play again. But what about what happened now? Could we not do it better to avoid that one? Just for that 10% more. And how can we feel good already? If you just lost a game. For me, I cannot. It's unacceptable for me. But here, sometimes we can. You understand? We say, not a lie. It's fine. We try again next week. Yeah? And these are also things that we can do better. If you see very young players, when they are 13, 12, they can compete everywhere. They are good, really. They can go to a tournament in England and they will do well. Because uh, you still don't have too much the physical uh, difference. We are still a little bit smaller than the Europeans one, or, or we still need to improve that physical part. But I believe that can be worked. Né? We can work that more and more nowadays, né? because we have more science, we have more people that are expertise on these kind of things. Né? And we coaches, we need also better coaches, people that are really interested in, in developing the young boys. And one problem that I see is a social problem after, because we have a lot of good players now. You see, yeah, we just proved that in the Suzuki Cup. With the time, I can see the difference. I am now nine years here. I can see the players are more professional now than before. And we have players like Jay, yeah, like Chanatip, like Tiraton, like Tirasil, like Titipan, that make the move to go to a stronger league because we have a good league with the Thai league, but of course, if you see the J league or the K league, they are still better. Né? And it's important for the players to get out of the comfort zone, to say, look, I want to be better. I want to, I'm not saying training harder because we also can train hard in Thailand, but here, sometimes, I don't want to say this for all the players, né? but many senior players, when they achieve the national team or they have a good contract with the club they somehow relax they say okay i did it i am now with a four years contract i'm getting a good money i can buy my new car i will <laughs> buy a house and i'm fine we need to want more than this more we have to continue to compete not to be again happy with winning the Suzuki Cup, we need to want the next step. And if the league cannot give you that, you have to try in a better league. You have to trust yourself, like, like China Tip did, of course. And especially when you are young. Now, these ages, 14, 15, until 18, is a very important age to form the player, to be then the adult player. And that years in Thailand, we still don't have the best preparation. And if you don't have now, and we are needing time to organize that, we have to send that players abroad. They need to go to Europe, they need to go to Japan, they need to continue the, develop, the development that they start when they are 13, 14. Because that is where you get physical, that is where you start to get your speed. I mean, they have a lot of good technique. Né? Thai players are, have good skills, they are good on the ball. Yeah? but they can develop more physically and also the, the speed of the game, about thinking. Yeah? When you have these stronger leagues or when you go where the competition is stronger, you always get better. It's about uh, uh, mentality a little bit. It's about uh, the physical development yeah? because you have 
to keep pushing. We have a different weather here. We have a different food. Né? It's when when you come to these grow ages, né? is where you start to be different from a from a physical perspective. Né? When you are very young, 12, 13, they are all the same. Né? They are all small somehow. They but then we have that that very important period about 13, 14 years old. I still believe that that can be trained and that can be worked. Yeah, we still need to have good coaches, people qualified, yeah, people that have interests. It's not again about foreign coach, local coach. We have a lot of good local coaches here also, but we have to to be able to to learn, to learn. It doesn't matter where you are from. You you must be interested in your job to say, look, I want to be the best fitness coach, I want to be the best physio here in the country, doesn't matter where you come from. Né? And I believe that is where we are missing a bit. And again, we are missing the league, the youth league, a, a, a clear youth league. I was very long in Germany, as I said, that is the, the structure that they have from the youth leagues is totally different than Thailand. It's there where they start to recruit the best players, they put them together, they start to play together. In young age, I mean, 13, 14, 15, they have in the region, then they put the best players. Okay, they go every Monday, they go together with the coach from the federation, make a special training, back to the club, in the club, playing the competition, playing the under 13 competition all year long. Yeah? And we still don't have that. We still need a better structure, a better league structure in the country. And that I think is where we are, we are missing that that part to continue to develop the player in a high level, to keep that high level that they have when they are 12, 13. Look, the World Cup is the biggest dream. Yeah, we we know that that is very difficult uh, based on uh, how many good countries we have in Asia and how many countries are a bit ahead of Thailand already with the development, with years of work. But uh, I always say that we, we should dream high in, in life, yeah? not only in football. We have to try our best. There is a lot of things that we can improve. I already said that in the, after the last game, we, we are happy with the Suzuki Cup, but uh, We should not be happy only with the Suzuki Cup. We really want to make the next step forward. And for that, we need a lot of work and we need, we need a lot of projects. We need a lot of ideas. Uh, we need a lot of staff. We, we need a better youth league. I always say that if you, because if you talk about World Cup, it's every four years. Imagine the next World Cup is in, in four and a half years. Maybe a boy today that is 18 years old that boy will be 22 and he might be playing in that World Cup, possibly. Eh? But what, what a boy that is today 18 in Thailand, how is he doing today? Or if he's 16, what the best football player in Thailand that now is 16 years old, how is his football calendar? What, a, what this player is playing? Which competition? Which league he's playing? You understand? We can have very good academies like we have now with Chomburi, with, we know it, with uh, Buriram doing well, Monton doing well before, beat, uh, Bangkok United doing well. That's my personal opinion. We need competition. It's not only about having good coaches and have a good training session. We need to have good leagues. These boys, they have to play the under 16 Thai league, all Thai league, they must be hungry to say I am under 16 Thai champion. You understand? I have to compete. I have to have maybe 40 games per year. I cannot have a Coke Cup when I am 19 for two weeks. And that's it. And keep working. Okay, training. And now, okay, I, I, I know a bit more detailed about example Bangkok United I was there long now these boys that are 16 17 18 what they are doing they are training they are training since months but 
What about the competition? What about the pressure? What about the adrenaline to, to win games, to, to be on the top of the table? Yeah? These kind of things are, for me personally, very important for the development of a player. Not only the daily work or the daily effort that you put in, you need a competition. You need a good competition. And we don't have this. We still don't have this. This is for me one step or, or one very important point that we have to improve. I always joke that uh, being half half, when people talk about football and they say, ah, we are one time world champion or we are two times. I mean, I am nine times, five with Brazil and four with Germany. I mean, it's a very good mix. Yeah, it's a, of course, uh, put land in Neuna, but it's true that it's a good mix. Brazilians, they have that, that freedom, that uh, magic, that uh, individual skills that all the world does né? about Romários, Ronaldos, Ronaldinhos, Neymar. And at the same time, I learned a lot in Germany about uh, discipline, about hard work, about uh, hungry to win, about angry to lose. These kind of things are very, very important. Yeah, that they are, they are, how can I say, things that in the football world, they have a, a huge weight. Yeah, I, I, I saw things in Germany that make me a better person also, and of course a better coach than at the end about uh, that competition to be really like for them the difference between winning and losing is like is like uh, hell and, and 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 heaven you know they really do everything to avoid to lose and that is important. That is also one thing that I try to bring here in Thailand more and more because we are here for the life. It's very good the way the culture in Thailand is like Sabai Sabai, my Pelai. It's, it's nice to live like that. Né? Or when you don't like the conflict, né? if you do something wrong, I cannot really be aggressive because then you will, oh, I'm losing my face now. These kind of things. To live your life somehow very good, but sometimes for football not so good. Because the difference between winning and losing must be big, must be really big. If I go somewhere and I spend a day and I'm in the hotel and I have seven hours in the bus and I go to play a game, I must sell that game, I mean, sell that defeat, very expensive. I can lose, but I can only lose if I really put everything in that game. And I cannot be happy one hour after the game if I lose the game. You understand? Can no, I, cannot, I cannot sleep when I lose a game. That day I cannot sleep, for example. I sleep very bad. And we here sometimes, we take, okay, coach, my palai. Next week we play again. I say, I know we play again, but what about what happened now? Could we not do it better to avoid that one? Just for that 10% more. And how can we feel good already? If you just lost a game. For me, I cannot. It's unacceptable for me. But here, sometimes we can. You understand? We say, my polite. It's fine. We try again next week. Yeah? And these are also things that we can do better. Again, I don't want to change people. Eh? People should, again, everyone must know how you want to live your life. I'm just saying, when it comes to the work, and when it comes to that game, to that 90 minutes, or even for the 90 minutes of the training session, you must give everything. 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 Every percent. If you lose a training game, five against five, you must be angry because you lost that one. That is one way to improve. Just my opinion.
that uh, there is a lot of work to make it happen. That if you don't uh, uh, give some somehow give away many good things in life that give you a lot of pleasure, but if you are not able to to give these things away for your job, you will not make it. Sometimes you have to work more. Sometimes you have to stay longer at the training. Sometimes you have to come earlier. You have to prepare yourself better. You have to sleep better. You have to eat better. And if you don't do all these things, you will not be in Barcelona. I want to say the parents first, don't pressure too much your kids. Let them have fun playing football, especially when they are young. Don't pressure them. Let them be free to play. The coaches also. Don't put too much rules when they are very young. Let them play. Let them be creative. They are already creative and in Thailand a lot also. And when come that time, as I said, let us together, the people that are responsible for the leagues, let create better, better leagues for the youth. But for the boys, keep dreaming. Dreaming is important in life. You can achieve things. But we all have to work together on that. I mean, coaches, federation, clubs, national team, parents, kids. If we don't do all this together, then it's, we will never make it. But we have a beautiful country here. We have people that love football. We have a lot of talent boys. It's just about everyone together going the same way. And the kids, they just, at the beginning, they need to have fun, they need to enjoy football, because that is also a, a social thing. Né? You don't need to be at the end in Barcelona, but the football can make you a better person, can make you have a lot of friends, can make you to have a healthy life, né? to be uh, competitive, to learn a lot. Né? It's, you don't need the pressure to say, okay, I have to be I need to be professional or I need to be in the national team. Again, just work hard, have fun. And if this is your way, it will be your way. But do it, do it a lot, work hard. Work hard because nothing comes from nothing. Kopun Krap.